Offer it properly so you will be accepted by God. The sacrifice must be eaten on the same day you offer it or on the next day. Whatever is left over until the third day must be completely burned. When you harvest the crops of your land, do not harvest the grain along the edges of your fields and do not pick up what the harvest harvesters drop. Heart was filled with pain when he saw what had happened to the world. He loved everywhere was disease. Disease and death and disruption. All the things God hates with God like you do with your best friend. She's also a good mama. And she's a good mama. She's only had one baby. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Okay, so where are the new ones? Here are the twins. Oh, I'm cute. Yeah, and we still got about half of them to, yeah. to birth, too. Okay. <laughs> hey, good first, bud. Right here. <laughs> yeah, I've seen them out there everywhere this morning. Yep. That's got a black leg. <laughs> oh, so that was one of the little ones? Yeah. All these babies. They're everywhere. They are everywhere. Let me see if I can hold the boy. Maybe let's not. Why? Oh, you mean the twins? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the mama said, come on, babies. Oh, my goodness. How soft. He's trying to eat my dress. Can you take a picture of me with him? Yeah. So this is Rosebud. 
She is our bottle baby from a couple of years ago, and she just gave birth to her first baby last night. And then this morning, and she's nursing good. And she's nursing good. And this morning, we have two new babies. This one over here is a first time mom. And, and then that one way down there. She went down the hill, but that one down there is a first time mom. And um, then, of course, these twins are doing good. They're like super big cuddlers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got. They went to the beehives uh, last night when we were checking on Rosebud and her baby, and um, and they got a little they, too close to the bees. Yeah, and they got stung, and then they started jumping and Daddy running said down he the didn't hill. Think they, he didn't think they got stung. They just the the bees were all around them. So they, they didn't were, like, like getting, the noise. Yeah. <laughs> so they were running around like crazy. But everybody's doing so good so far. We're so happy. Nobody's needed help. Which usually they don't. Get him laying down. <laughs> oh. Come here, can I hold both of you? Okay, I got you now. You need to turn around. Oh, they're so heavy. Let him play. Look how full the milk tank is. Uh, well, she's got to be. She's got two babies to feed. <laughs> Have you seen Sweets' milk bag? Oh my gosh. Look at her milk bag. These it's are the ladies that are still waiting to give birth right here. <laughs> all together. Yeah, they're, the, all the ones right there are lined up are the ones that have really good milk bags. And then Rosie. And then Lilo. We're still not sure if Lilo's pregnant or not. All right. First and foremost, take a deep breath. You can do this. You can. Um, I have been so encouraged over the past week, um, especially the last few days, of moms that have texted me or Facebook messaged me or DM'd me or whatever, emailed me and have said how excited they are to have the opportunity during this time, this crazy, crazy time in our history, um, to be given the opportunity to homeschool their children. Uh, I have also seen many moms who were deathly afraid of this. And I think the fear comes in when you think you just aren't good enough. You just, you could not possibly teach your kid like their teacher does at school. And I just think that is such a lie. Um, I just think that is such a lie that we are believing. And I know I believed that when I first started. And um, I just don't want you to believe that. I want you to know that you're enough. You are good enough. And... I don't know what your situation looks like. I don't know if your if your um, kids' teachers are giving them uh, things to do. Um, I assume a lot of them are probably, but I would encourage you just to enjoy your family. Like that is the best piece of advice I could give you, is just to enjoy your kids. Um, let them know they are not a burden. Let them know that you enjoy spending time with them and that you are really going to embrace this opportunity to spend more time with them and to love learning with them. Um, I think when I first started homeschooling, it was such a shock to find out that homeschooling didn't look like public school. I thought, pub I thought homeschooling was going to be public school done at home. And that's absolutely not the case. Um, I guess maybe some homeschool families make it look a little more like public school, but um, I certainly don't think that works very well. Um, it didn't for our family anyways. And 
um, once we started really just enjoying each other, learning about life, learning about creation together, um, getting into the Bible together, like all those things just really um, gave us a sense of um, intrigue and enjoyment in learning. And um, this has been our best school year that we've ever had. Um, and it really, it does get better every year. I, I think um, it has gotten better every year for us. And it's just to the point now where it's not, school is not a chore. School is just something that we do throughout our day, throughout life. Um, and uh, I'm gonna give you just a few um, tips or I don't know what you call them, but um, I just wanna encourage you that you are enough. You are doing a great job. Um, if you need some help, I would love to hear from you. You can email me, michelle at farmlifeoutfitters.com or you can leave a comment here and I'll get back to you. But um, I'm not even going to talk specifics about homeschooling today. I'm just going to talk um, a little bit about what we do that we really enjoy. I'm not going to talk about certain curriculums or anything like that because more than likely you're doing this for just a short period of time. Um, maybe some of you will love it enough to want to do this full time from now on and that, that really is exciting to me. Um, but if this is short term for you, um, I do want you to know that, um, there are many, many free, uh, resources online. And I have a friend who is a homeschool blogger and I'm going to link her blog in the description. And also she has an Etsy store that has a lot of resources that you can go. Um, and she does discounts a lot of times too. So you can go and get these things um, printed and um, use them for your kids, especially if you're doing long term. But she will have lots of good advice for you if even if you're doing this short term. Um, she's a very creative mama. So and her blog is called The Bookish Den. There are virtual museum tours that I've seen people posting about that are online. Um, there are so many resources online, guys. Like we, this could not have happened at a better time in our history because we have so much opportunity to learn just online. Um, if you don't wanna spend much time online, like get outside. Going outside, uh, researching things, taking the nature guide, doing a nature walk, letting your kids um, journal what they're seeing and then go and research it. I mean, like this is great learning material. I just did a video about uh, vitamin D and if you're outside with your kids, y'all are all getting exercise, which is going to be great for your bodies and you're getting vitamin D, which is great for your bodies. So like it's just all around a good thing to go outside with your kids and do school. There are lots of documentaries on Amazon Prime and YouTube. There are art videos online, tutorials online that are great um, to have your kids do art lessons. And um, otherwise you could just throw them some craft materials together and let them be creative. I have been asked what we like to read because reading is such a good thing to do as a family. Um, we have a few favorites, but this, I mean, the list is just endless. We love to read basically anything we have in the house, but uh, our favorites are the Mercy Watson series and the uh, Chronicles of Narnia, which might be a little bit for older children. Um, little House on the Prairie, uh, the Bible, we, we get in the Bible every single morning together. Um, we're in Leviticus right now, y'all. Leviticus. And um, we're just reading straight through the Bible together. Um, and it, is, it has been such a blessing. It's been so fun. Uh, the kids have lots of good questions, some of which I don't have answers for. Some are really hard to answer because the Bible's hard, y'all. The Bible, the Bible talks about things that we don't like to talk about sometimes and uh, it just kind of forces us to have those 
those really hard conversations with each other and um, and that's not that's not a bad thing so we get in the Bible together uh, also we read the Jesus storybook Bible so um, if you don't have the Jesus storybook Bible it's beautiful and uh, in fact our kids read it aloud the ones that can read <laughs> so Sydney and Stella read it aloud in the mornings um, rarely do I read it they read it and we all listen and sometimes we'll even um, while we're listening will the others will um, draw what we're hearing uh, how they interpret what we're listening to so that's a really cool skill also but most importantly be present uh, put your phone down turn the TV off look your kids in the eye when they're talking to you and just enjoy those little people they don't stay little for long I am pregnant with our fourth child and um, due to give birth in five short weeks and um, I am reminded constantly of how my kids are grown up like it's like our oldest is almost 10 and I cannot believe it like it's just insane to me so enjoy these children you have such little time with them um, just make the most of it you're given an opportunity right now in this season to have more time with them so uh, just don't waste it don't stress don't stress about am I making them do wor this worksheet right or am I teaching this concept right or whatever that's what Google's for if you don't know that's what Google is for um, just enjoy your kids like don't stress about homeschooling learn a new skill with them get in the kitchen with them teach them how to cook y'all learn how to plant a garden together if you don't know anything about gardening I mean this is a perfect time of year for you to start seeds and um, to actually start planting depending on where you are um, yeah just enjoy this time so i like i'm your biggest cheerleader right now and that's why i wanted to do this video because i just wanted you to be encouraged that you are enough i'm so sorry that the guineas are so loud in this video i don't need like i block them out i don't even notice that they're there anymore usually until i'm replaying the video and then i'm like oh, seriously anyways you are enough thank you for listening if you need any help, please reach out to me. I would love to talk to you. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.